सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द मोस्ट अवेटेड वीडियो ऑन सी आर ए इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन इन दिस वीडियो विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन ऑल द पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन दैट कैन कम इन टू अ सी आर ए इंटरव्यू ऑन वॉट वुड इट द परफेक्ट आंसर्स टू दोज क्वेश्चन इन दिस वीडियो विल बी कवरिंग ऑल द टॉपिक्स राइट फ्रॉम टाइप्स ऑफ मॉनिटरिंग विजिट टू द रेगुलेटरी सबमिशन टू द ए ए रिपोर्टिंग एंड वॉट आर द एक्टिविटीज दैट इज एक्सपेक्टेड फ्रॉम अ सी आर ए सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल दी एंड सो दैट यू कैन क्रैक दिस इंटरव्यू सक्सेसफुली एंड गेट दैट जॉब विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी फर्दर टाइम लेट स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो Okay, so before we begin this video, I would like all of you to subscribe to this channel so that it provides me a motivation to bring you a quality content. So make sure you subscribe and also share to your friends who are looking to get into a CRA job. So now looking at the CRA profile, it is very important that you qualify in three aspects: the qualification, education, and experience. When it comes to qualification, it means that you need to have an experience. as a clinical research professional in capacity of a crc or a cta okay so that it establishes that you are not a newbie in this particular field and you have a kind of clinical research experience when it comes to education then you need to have a graduation in life sciences that can be from pharma biotech or any other uh, life sciences background and you need to also have a certification in clinical research now this particular certification has been made mandatory because it essentially helps you establish your strong fundamentals in clinical research and knowings of the clinical trial working also a gcp certification from nida would be helpful and provide you an edge during the cra interview now experience becomes critical because every sponsor every cro hires cra based on the trials they have those trials are linked to therapeutic areas for example uh, for example uh, iqva has trials related to oncology so your onco experience as a crc or a cta would play a critical role whereas someone who has uh, vaccine experience would not qualify for oncology so whenever you work as a crc or a cta try to work in as much as diverse trial possible so that you can qualify for any kind of job and interview okay also what types of audit you have faced what type of monitoring visits you have faced so that also establishes your experience and enriches your profile to the interviewer so now let us come to the exact cra interview question so the first question that they will ask you is regarding the cra or clinical research experience here you need to explain what kind of monitoring visit have you faced or have you conducted your overall career profile as a clinical research professional and what are your future plans or strategy so this should be a very articulated answer so that they understand what kind of pedigree do you have and how you are trying to move forward in clinical research this is the first question second they will ask you regarding the fundamental concepts of clinical research such as the basic concept for example what is monitoring itself so the definition from ics gcp that monitoring is an act of overseeing the progress of clinical trial so that kind of definition you should have by heart and th that you can explain so it reflects your profile very well then again they can ask you question regarding the regulatory authorities the guidelines the sop any historical event such as declaration of helsinki nuremberg trials okay so uh, be prepared with the fundamental concepts also next kind of question they will ask you regarding the cra working and visit so they will ask you regarding what type of visit have you faced or have you conducted so what do you know about an siv visit or an site qualification visit or a cov visit such as uh, close out visit so they will ask you that if i plan a close out visit what is your preparation strategy what are the documents that you will ask to the site what are the documents that is expected from you which documents should be submitted during a close out so read about this particular visit and answer accordingly okay every minute detail is looked by the interviewer next question they will ask you regarding the functional question such as how do you conduct a clinical trial uh, what are the sop that you followed in your previous organization so when it comes to regulatory submission what kind of forms uh, uh, qualify for clinical research what is form ct4 what is form ct4a then they will also ask you regarding query management how do you handle the site how do you manage the query have you faced any database lock also they will ask you regarding the coordination between various stakeholders and how do you handle that how do you manage protocol deviation so such functional questions can be asked in the cra interview 
नेक्स्ट दे विल आस्क यू क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग जीसीपी एंड सिचुएशनल अवेयरनेस सो एज फार एज जीसीपी इज कंसर्न आई सी जीसीपी यू शुड बी थर विथ यू शुड हैव द नीडा सर्टिफिकेशन अगेन गो थ्रू द नीडा मटेरियल इट गेट्स अपडेटेड एवरी वंस अ वाइल ओके दे विल आस्क यू रिगार्डिंग इफ आई हैव दिस पर्टिकुलर डॉक्यूमेंट दे विल ऑल्सो शेयर यू सम डॉक्यूमेंट्स सो टेल मी वॉट इज द mistake in this particular report are there any gcp issues are there any gcp violations they can also ask you regarding your adherence to the protocol what are the regulatory rules why is this site a non compliant so such questions can come next set of questions come from roles and responsibility so as i said what are the role of responsibility uh, of a cra so how a cra plays a role in subject recruitment how cra does ip accountability what are the consenting issues then how a cra would provide a training to the site how do you handle a kappa okay corrective action preventive action then uh, how a stakeholders uh, are managed various stakeholders are managed then what kind of trial design have you worked on okay the difference uh, between a cra role in a uh, open label study as compared to a blinded study that you should know next set of question comes from uh, the regulatory aspect and the gro- uh, global regulatory laws so if you are an indian cra they'll ask you about cdsco question as i've said that form ct04 uh, form ct06 what is the form for submission for approval for importing the ip okay so they will ask you regarding those question they will definitely ask you regarding ndct rules 2019 the major updates what are the ec updates okay even when it comes to us fda if you are working for a global client they will also ask you regarding uh, those questions okay so you should be able to answer the question regarding hipaa law okay so what does hipaa say what is patient's privacy when it comes to global regulatory laws okay that you should be able to answer also one aspect of ec also comes so what are the ec members after 2019 ndct rules what are the differences so that you should be able to answer as a cra finally the most important thing when it comes to cra is regarding a and sa reporting so for example if a subject reports a particular event after the ip uh, after he has taken the ip so how do you distinguish between a and sa what are adverse event of special interest okay what is the sa reporting timeline and how do you report table 5 in sugam okay when it comes to cra role the site will call you up and tell you that uh, the subject uh, has passed away or he has been hospitalized for more than 24 hours then you need to explain them what are the next steps of action what is the report that you should prepare within 24 hours the report that is to be submitted within 14 days so these are the critical question that a cra needs to answer and if you feel that you can answer all these eight questions very prudently then you can certainly qualify for a cra okay so focus on this eight question and i've prepared a lot of videos on uh, these questions you can even check other videos that will be helpful to cracking the interview next thing is if uh, you want to pursue a career in clinical research then our friends at clinical em research conduct a wonderful certification program in clinical research where they teach you clinical research along with clinical data management and pharmacovigilance in depth so go ahead and enroll in that certification so that you can have a bona fide when it comes to uh, interview preparation and making a career in clinical research so i hope i was able to help you and thank you for watching this video till the end Make sure you share this video to all the pharmacy and the life science students who are looking to make a career in clinical research and medical coding also and also subscribe to the channel it will help us and motivate us in the future also and thank you everybody